Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits Reviews. Tonight, uh, another beer, but one that's uh, a bit of a tale of two halves on this one. So, Blanford Flyer, I think it's actually called, they actually rebranded it just this few last few weeks. And now they're calling it the Blanford Fly. Um, this, I've had many times before, 5.2%. It basically is a ginger beer mixed with an ale and uh, it is absolutely spot on. If you like your ginger beers, you know, it's, it is definitely one to try. Um, made by Badger, of course. Um, absolutely fantastic beer. I've had it so many times. Uh, you see golden. Smell ginger, spice and toffee. Taste sweet, refreshing ginger spice, and uh, it says here the, the, the fly fisherman or flyer of the Dorset, Dorset Stout are celebrated in the warming beer with ginger overtones. It's one of two beers that I can remember that are a mixture of. Well, three now because the crab has done it as well. But uh, there's, yeah, three beers. Crabbies have done it with their uh, stout, which is a mix of uh, Sadler's Mud City Stout and obviously Crabbies. Uh, Old Tom Ginger is a mixture of Old Tom with ginger beer. Very nice too. Uh, try and get hold of it though, that's another thing. And then Blanford Flyer. Blanford Flyer is the one that's m available just about everywhere. And a damn fine beer as well. So, Crack it open. Temperature's much nicer for for those who aren't sunbathing. And after three or four months of solid temperatures, you know, it's nice to have a change. Will we be moaning in a week or so's time uh, when we can't sit outside and we're not having barbecues? Probably yes, probably so, but that, that's the British, isn't it? We all moan. So absolute bags of um, ginger smell to it and spice lovely golden colour uh, plenty of carbonation which you would expect from any ginger beer you know you're gonna get that good white head on it and obviously I'm using a glass that has widgets you know built into the glass because it's a Stella Cedra gla glass and as uh, so lager, lager glasses, most lager glasses will have the little widgets which help you see the little bubbles going up which is called carbonation or lacing if you didn't know that. So if they ever come across those terms, uh, that's what it means. Ooh. So, uh, most ginger beers uh, you'll see on the market uh, 4%. For some strange reason, it seems uh, ginger beers and fruit ciders, 4% is the norm. Uh, not many, uh, you know, either side of that, uh, uh, you know, above that. But uh, this to me, I can, I'm sure it was darker last time I tried it. Hey, I must have been drunk. Um, yeah, this to me is probably one of the best. I mean, uh, a couple of years, about three years ago, Krabby's bought out uh, Krabby's Reserve, which was um, a ginger beer brewed, and it was 6%. And I still think that that is the best ginger beer uh, around. You know, it's not on sale anymore. For some strange reason, they took it off. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get it on cask at anywhere, but it's a shame because it was an absolute belt of a pint. And uh, if any companies out there ever watch this, please make a strong ginger beer. I'd like to see a ginger beer um, blended with a barley wine in the 8% category because that would be stunning. And uh, one of these days I'll just do it myself. I'll, I'll get a ginger beer kit. I'll uh, simply ginger beer is probably the best ginger beer kit to do that. And I'll get one of the strong beers and, mer and you know, just brew them together at the same time so that you do get that strength and if it turns out nasty then you know I've only got myself to blame it's 
So yeah, um, it's obviously a ginger beer. You get lovely lots of ginger taste, but then you also get that ale um, coming through a bit of maltiness. Really, really refreshing. Um, if you're not a fan of ginger or you've never tasted the ginger beer, it's, it's worth trying either this or your crabbies. Uh, I think they're a great introduction to the range. Uh, or even so, you know, uh, just trying a soft drink ginger beer. Uh, like, you know, uh, the old, I can't remember the brand names. Keep away from the really cheapo brand names because they, they'll put you off forever. But um, is it old Jake? I'm not, I'm not sure, 100%. But uh, yeah, and if you like ginger beer, then your natural progression is onto an alcoholic ginger beer. You'll never get drunk on that. Even, so, even though it's 5.2%, I'd have to have about 10 pints of that before it starts to hit me. There's something with certain beers and certain ciders where you just don't, you drink it, you just don't get drunk. Uh, no idea why that is. I've you know, some, I've drank loads of ginger beer, never once got drunk on it. Um, loads of fruit ciders same again spider never got drunk on it and um, I just don't understand it yet I'll drink uh, the likes of not Strongbow shall we say Old Rosie and stuff like that cider and then mixed it with another um, similar one did it at the uh, Robin Hood uh, festival the, uh, when I first went with my mates and uh, I'm mixing ciders and beers and uh, let's say I was absolutely battered well before everybody else and went home and uh, paid for it the next day. Oh, so, absolutely bang on. I'll uh, bring up a few reviews. I've got my own thoughts on it. I absolutely love it. But it's always interesting to see what other people say. Right, um, Blanford Flyer. So, um, Badger make, oh, I don't want to see that, actually, picture of a fly. Ugh. And a review. Yeah, um, uh, Badger make a lot of good beers um, if, if, you, if you're a lady or you like fruitier beers golden champion um, golden glory absolutely you'll love them uh, for more traditional beer drinkers tanglefoot thirsty ferret oh, two brilliant beers both available in bottles and cans and maybe even casks uh, little kegs these days rather uh, you got hopping hair you got the Cranbourne Poacher, or what used to be known as Poacher's Choice. Um, and then they've got loads of uh, some partridge, something or other. So, yeah, they bring out seasonal ones as well. So, you know, a good good brewery with lots of quality brands, you know. So you, you can see that uh, whoever does their master brewing, you know, is quite down to an art. And they do seem to bring out the odd new one every now and again. So, Blanford Flyer. Out of five, 3.18 out of five. Uh, let's have a look for a few reviews. Right, someone's give it a five out of five. Uh, a lovely pint. I'm not an all day boozer. I like a good pint to round the day off. I don't normally do these review things, but I have to say Flyer is a lovely pint with a great taste of ginger. Very well priced and maybe one of the best beers on the supermarket shelf. Great with a good cheese and onion gob. Let's have a look for another one. So this is a negative review. Well, you know, lower. Uh, look, dark amber in colour, crystal clear, one finger white head, lots of carbonation, smell immediately a great strong smell of ginger. Smells like ginger beer, taste rather sweet ginger flavour with some gingery spice. Reminds me of a shandy but with ginger beer rather than lemonade. Feel, little thin, slightly crisp, not too great. Overall not bad but a little sweet for my taste. Nice to try though, won't buy again but would have again if you know what I mean. Right. 
coming up for another uh, 3.6 out of 5 this one a sweet tasting beer of ginger tones lovely on a hot day a perfect barbecue beer maybe too sweet for some and this is a 4 out of 5 warm shandy like taste from the ginger sweet distinctive maybe too sweet mm. 4.41 out of 5 this one good for morning hangovers if Robert Hook knew about this little fella he wouldn't use ginger root put it to his nose after hard nights don't know what that means so some varied reviews um, this to me is all in the if you like ginger you'll give it a high review if you don't like ginger beer you're not you know some people can't stand the uh, ginger and some can me I'm a massive ginger beer fan. Oh, it's the spot lovely. And you see the evolution of beers. Uh, I remember uh, when I first started working at Sainsbury's back in 2010, there were two, gin two ginger beer variants on the shelves. Um, Taste the Difference by Sainsbury's, which is an absolutely bang on ginger beer. And also Krabby's, uh, the brand leader basically. And over the years, Fentimans are bought out of ginger beer. Uh, that's a good ginger beer as well. Uh, Stone's Ginger Joe, I did a review of that. Wasn't impressed actually, last time when I reviewed it. And Krabby's have also bought out Krabby's Black, which was the the one that discontinued which was by far the best ginger beer um, they bought out an orange version which that was absolutely brilliant as well I don't think you can get that anymore and they bought out I think it's a raspberry version now and there's another one can't remember, can't remember what it is obviously they bought out a crabby stout which is really nice and they bought out um, crabby's IPA so IPA mixed with uh, ginger beer one I must try. I don't think I've tried it. Or if I've tried it, I can't remember. Over the years, drank that many beers that, uh, unless like now, I'm doing reviews, and I can look back on the reviews, did I like that beer? Did I not? And uh, some beers, like Blanford Flyer, I immediately remember because I've had it quite a few times and absolutely loved it. Some other beers, you look and you think, did I actually like that? So yeah, not like a conventional ginger beer. It's got the, it's a mix of ale and ginger. Which to me, I think that mixing is actually, uh, when you first get on the ginger beer um, drinking, you start off with basic crabbies. And then you start going round and doing the, all the variants. And to me, this is, this and probably Old Tom actually in Ginger are the two ones to go to and Krabby's Stout as well because, um, yeah, three. Uh, all three of them, you know, it's, it's the evolution of, you You know, you what, what you want to taste out of it. If, you know, if, you, if you're a real ginger beer drinker, you, you want to progress. So, out of five. For me, a very high 4.6 out of five. Absolutely love it can't fault it this I don't think it's too sweet I think it's perfectly balanced between uh, ginger beer and ale I mean I'd like to see a reserve version which is a bit more stronger but that's because you know I'm probably a drunk um, but yeah really nice I could spend a night drinking that and never get drunk Thanks for watching, see you soon.